third world title fight or that he should have long since hung up his gloves. He remains a sporting compulsion. You simply can't ignore him. Back in November, Frank had his first fight since losing to Mike Tyson in 1989. The Dutchman, John Emmon, offered little resistance and no real clues as to Bruno's future. And I think that will put everything beyond any possible doubt. Tonight, though, Cuban-born Jose Ribalta, boxing out of Miami, Florida, looks like a real live opponent. Like Bruno, he's been in with Tyson, Witherspoon, and Bone Crusher Smith, all world champions, and in each case, gave a better account of himself. At the weigh-in today, Bruno at six feet three was 16 stone, 10 pounds, his heaviest ever. Balta, 29, a year younger than Bruno, is nearly three inches taller, but was two pounds lighter, 16 stone, eight. Good evening, welcome to Wembley. I think this is going to be a very testing fight for Frank. Even if the fight does finish fairly quickly, which is a possibility, it doesn't mean that Frank was in there with an easy opponent. Frank's got a live opponent tonight. Mm. And you've uh, trained uh, or sparred with Rebelta, haven't you, Lennox? Yes, I have. What did you make of him? Uh, he's, a, he's a good boxer, good mover. He's going to give, uh, definitely give Bruno a different look. And he's a stand-up, and he moves, and he uses his jab well as well. Mm -hmm. What did you make of the pre-fight sort of bally who uh, Rebelta's quotes about trying to damage Frank's eye, Gary? Well, I think people misinterpret it misinterpreted what Robolta said because what Robolta actually meant was that his eye is a, is a legitimate target once he steps in the ring and go for the eye because it's a weakness. The object of any sport or game is to go for the other person's weakness uh, in order to win. Mm -hmm. And um, so Robolta just, he just worded it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. People were offended by that, but it's a legitimate target. And he has actually said that if he was actually to, if he had the opportunity to fund Frank in the eye, he wouldn't do it because that's illegal. And that's a sign of fair play. Bruno's only had one fight since he fought Tyson, and it was just that one round against John Emmon. He looked a bit rusty almost that night. It's a funny thing to say about a man who won in one round, but he did. There were, his timing was a little bit off. Um, what do you feel about that, the fact that he hasn't really fought for three years, Lennox? Well, you have to remember, he's been out of the ring for three years, and when he finally comes back, he only went one round. So I feel that this fight should stretch him a good, fair distance, and, you know, it'll be interesting to see what will happen. Mm. Would there be a stamina problem for Frank if it went on into the later rounds, Gary? I don't think Frank will have a stamina problem because he'll be able to pace himself and fight at his pace. The people that give Frank the real problems are the people, the pressure fighters, that don't enable him to fight at his own pace. And I actually think as well, this fight, they're both two similar fighters, both been out of action for a little bit, yeah? Mm -hmm. Both not sure about which way they're going, so it's whoever lands the hardest blow first because somebody's mind is going to get changed there tonight. And them right-handers, they have a habit of doing that. <laughs> of course, yes, indeed. Of course, Lennox, you want Bruno to win because you'd like to meet him in the ring. Definitely. Uh, you know, so far he's been ducking me, and I, f I hopefully, if he has a good showing with Robota, he'll finally challenge me. OK, before we go ringside, forecast. Um, Bruno within four. I say Bruno in the late rounds. Bruno late, Bruno early-ish. Yeah. Right, let's see what happens then. Let's go to ringside and join our fight commentator, Harry Carpenter. And at ringside, certainly the feeling is that Frank has got a really hard fight on his hands at night. The first man to come to the ring will be the Cuban Jose Nino Ribalta. Here he comes. several days growth of beard once upon a time he wouldn't have been allowed to have got into the ring with that much beard on his face and when he gets into the ring you see what a big fellow he is six and a half feet he looks a giant he knows what it's like to go ten rounds with Mike Tyson 
both these men, Rivalta and Bruno, have been professionals for 10 years, and they've both met Tyson and Bone Crusher Smith and Tim Witherspoon. One thing about Rivalta, we keep saying Frank hasn't had too much recent experience, but this man hasn't fought since last May. And the lights dim, and we wait for the nation's most popular boxer, Frank Bruno. simply shudder to the drumbeat of Bruno's signature tune, Eye of the Tiger. And he looks a somber man tonight. He didn't like what Rivaldo said about going for the eye. Here's our MC, Mike Shimfield. Our gentlemen, please. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please be upstanding and show respect for the national anthems. <laughs> Rivalta's red, white, and blue trunks. He's a big man, but the trunks look as though they're made for somebody even bigger. I honestly think I could probably camp out in them. Bruno's three defeats, Bone Crusher Smith, Tim Witherspoon, and Mike Our Tyson. Gentlemen, please. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the main event on this evening's program, sponsored by the Daily Mirror and the Sunday Mirror. National promotions present an international heavyweight contest of 10 three-minute rounds. Presenting and introducing in this corner, ladies and gentlemen, from Miami in the United States of America, Jose Rabalta. <laughs> and from London, ladies and gentlemen, Frank Bruno. Our 
At the wedding, at the wedding at the Odeon Leicester Square today, Robalta scaled 16 stones, 8 pounds. Bruno, 16 stones, 10 pounds. The referee for this contest, Mr. Roy Francis. The timekeeper, Mr. Tom Rice. Roy Francis is the referee, a man who in this very ring here at Wembley when he was an amateur knocked out an American called Frankie Davis and people still write to me about it. So it should be the 10th. Bruno in the red trunks. Bruno's third fight in four and a half years. Been out of the ring since last November. Rivalta hasn't been in the ring since last May, when he was appointed by the South African, Pierre Kutzir, the man who's being touted as possibly Bruno's next opponent, if he gets successfully through this one. looking quite sharp. You know to knock men up, right? And Rebelta taking his time. So far, from the Cuban. looking pretty sharp and very menacing. He was very, very upset at what Rivalta said at that press conference and he glares at Rivalta as the two men separate after an opening round which Bruno has won by a mile. So Bruno comes out looking sharp tonight again always very fit and at one point here he had Rivalta on the ropes and began to put one or two extremely ominous punches together and Rivalta tried to ward them off with his gloves and he couldn't and he was very quick to come in and grab for dear life another angle on it some of these punches of Bruno's just slightly off target again that might be an indication of how little real competition he's had over the last four years. Rivalta's just tried to sit on his stool and somebody had taken it away. <laughs> Rivalta's got so much beard on him that uh, where they've rubbed him with the towel, the nap of the towel has come off. Now he looks like a man with a grey beard. Well, 
Rivalta so far has shown nothing but a fairly negative attitude as though he's come to last as long as possible. But it could be deceptive. He's a lot better than this. Well, Rebalta told not to hold, and Rebalta complained to the referee that he was being thumped on the back of the neck. Bit of needle here. He doesn't at the moment, anyway. Looks like a 30-year-old who's coming towards the end of a career. He's looking quite young and sprightly. That's a good right hand, and the man's right above me, and he's almost coming out on top of me. And down goes Rivalta. And what, what are people going to say about that? Was that a bum opponent? Everybody said he was a good one. He's knocked out. Round two, Bruno's won again. Now what are they going to say? The big punch of Bruno has absolutely rendered him unconscious. And I hope he's all right. Well, this fight, which was sponsored by the Daily Mirror and the Sunday Mirror, has come to a dramatic, indeed sensational end. A man who was, everybody described him as a real live opponent. And he has succumbed in the second round to a few big punches from the big man Bruno, who's done it again. And I don't like what is going on in the ring because Rivalda has not come to yet. Just beginning to stir. He is quite badly concussed. Well, let's look at that ending again. Frank was in a determined mood tonight. Here he comes, with the man on the ropes again. He was trapped in the first round like this, got away with it. This time, it was different. What a thundering right hand that was. That came from way back, and he had no defense against it. And from this moment, he threatened to come toppling over the top rope, right above me. And I expected six and a half feet of Cuban to land on me, but he landed inside the ropes and was sparked out. The camera right over our heads big right hand this is a thundering right and almost no man in the world would survive that it's the sort of punch that disturbed Tyson when Frank hit him he had him going here and Frank didn't let him off the hook and I think to be honest he was unconscious when he was over the rope and he's still on the ring floor well a triumphant night for Bruno and uh, uh, they knocked him after Emin. Can they knock him now? One minute, 44 seconds of round two, ladies and gentlemen. The winner on a count out, Frank Bruno! Now that is a very significant win in the world of heavyweight boxing because Ribalta had been 10 rounds with Tyson. He'd fought Bonecrusher Smith. He'd gone 10 rounds with Pierre Kudzir, the South African, who is ranked to uh, the number one by, number one contender by the IVF. And here, Frank Bruno, at 30, has disposed of him inside two rounds. And thankfully, Ribalta is now on his feet, and one hopes perfectly all right. Goed door met zijn rechter, slip even weg.